Welcome everyone. Here we are going to present a paper titled X-ray diffraction studies on crystallography and microstructure of edge hardened aluminum copper alloys with trace contents of tin authored by myself Dr. Sanjeev Banerjee and Mr. Sanjeev Gogui from Department of Mechanical Engineering Tejpur University. 2219 aluminum alloys is one of the 2000 series aluminum alloys which have extensive applications in space, aircraft, automobile and marine. Here we can see the standard chemical composition of 2219 aluminum alloys. Regarding microalloying, recent trend in alloy development is microalloying where contents would be less than 0.1 weight percent with trace elements in order to achieve higher strength combined with reasonable toughness and maintaining lower density. The reason behind microalloying is that it permits addition of trace elements although of higher density but with lower content and these trace elements even at lower concentrations may considerably influence the microstructural evolution and enhance the overall mechanical properties but without compromising the material weight. Precipitation hardening heat treatment has two separate stages that is the solution heat treatment and the precipitation heat treatment as shown in this figure and the strengthening mechanism is by the restriction to dislocation motion by the formation of finely dispersed second phase precipitates within the alloy matrix. In the present study 2219 aluminum copper alloys was processed by standard casting technique. It contains varying contents of tin and the tin content varied from 0 to 0.1 weight percent as shown in this table. In this figure we can see the XRD patterns of the aged and water quenched alloys microalloyed with 0, 0 0.06 and 0.1 weight percent of tin. Here in these figures we can see the peaks related with aluminium phase which is a matrix along with CUL2 or the theta phase as shown in these figures. The lattice parameters of both these phases may be detected from this XRD analysis. Now from the XRD analysis we can detect the crystal sizes of different phases. Here in the first figure we can get the average theta crystal size for the investigated aluminum copper alloys microalloyed with 0, 0 0.06 and 0.1 weight percent of tin both under solutionized and aged conditions. Whereas in the second figure it reveals the percentage increase in theta crystal size for the investigated alloys microalloyed with 0, 0 0.06 and 0.1 weight percent of tin resulting from this aging treatment. Now from both these figures we can get that microalloying with tin imposed an influence on the quantitative increase in theta crystal size of the investigated alloys. Alloy with 0.06 weight percent of tin exhibited highest quantitative increase in theta crystal size as revealed in this figure. Now 0.06 weight percent of tin additions favored the growth in theta crystal size but with higher tin contents of 0.1 weight percent could not promote the said particle growth as revealed in this figure. Here we can observe the ACM micrographs of cast investigated aluminum copper alloys microalloyed with 0 0.06 and 0.1 weight percent of tin showing the different grain boundary phases. Now in these micrographs we can observe two different grain boundary phases as indicated by phase A and phase B. Now phase A is an uniform phase along the grain boundary which is chemically detected as CUL2 or theta phase by EDS analysis while phase B is an intermetallic phase existing 
as script morphology inside the grain boundary and specially at the triple points. Now, from a quantitative analysis, we can observe that volume fraction of phase A, that is the CUL2 or theta phase, is maximum with the alloy with 0.06 weight percent of tin. Therefore, we can observe that 0.06 weight percent of tin favored the precipitation reaction which is revealed from the increased growth in theta crystal size as we have observed in the previous section as well as the increased volume fraction of this theta or CUL2 phase along the grain boundary region. EDS analysis was performed to detect the chemical composition of matrix phase A and phase B as revealed in the ACM micrographs of cast base aluminium copper alloy. Here in the EDS spectra we can observe that the matrix contained primarily aluminium while phase A is a uniform phase along the grain boundary is basically theta or a CUL2 phase and phase B which exists as a script-like morphology along the grain boundary and triple points is an intermetallic phase as shown in this EDS spectra. These are the few references regarding the present work. Thank you.